Hi everyone, it's <laughs> it's your boy Zach. I swear, I'm in a good mood because I just found my apartment and I'm just a wait day to get the final approval. I swear, I just read Black Panther: The Sound of Fury number one. And I'm about to do a video on it, but I can't, st I can't, I can't stop. I'm a cringe addict. I admit it. I admit it. I admit it. I'm cringe addict. <laughs> so. You know, I've done a million things about a dance lot. Dance lot, uh, like most SJWs, uses minorities, uh, people of color, women, and LGBTQ as uh, shields to uh, basically uh, defend themselves from attacks. I did a video on this one, but uh, he won't stop, and he just keeps getting cringier. I can't believe it. Um, so the biggest thing is Dan Slot once again has joined into the... Uh, uh, I've got evidence, but I can't show it to you. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, this guy, the way of the world, seems to maybe have put his... I just looked at his account. Oh, so it is open. Okay. So, Twitter's weird, and following conversations on Twitter is really weird. But anyway, um, he's... Uh, <laughs> I, I can't tell where this conversation's coming from. I know these people. They're being singled out. And they are receiving daily waves of abuse from that community. If you're not seeing it, you're not looking closely enough. So two things happen when SJW say stuff like this. Number one, they've just completely made it up. Number two, something happened, but they know if any normal person looks at it, they won't find it offensive or egregious or harassment. They'll just say, eh, this is trash talk, or eh, you guys are just going back and forth. So they gotta, they've got to not just Voldemort a people, but Voldemort situations and incidents. Did you hear about the thing that that guy did? Who? What was it? I can't tell you. I, I promised the victim I wouldn't tell any part of the story. <laughs> and then they'll just try to hint it. Um, uh, so now he's responding. Oh, actually, I think this is in the, the other one, but Twitter's weird. So which one is this? Okay, so these are ones that have popped up recently. Uh, so John Banks says, why should women, people of color, I hate that term so much. You never hear that term in a legitimate way. It's either really extremist white people using it because they're trying to sound woke, or it's minorities who are trying to make you nervous. <laughs> people of color, just say whatever color. And, and Native Americans usually just say they're tribe. We're Injun. There's a ton of Injuns in the Marines. They don't say Native American, First Nations. They just go, what's up, you Mexican? He's like, nah, bro, I'm an Injun, Navajo. And then you just continue among your day. Um, so he says, why should w women, people of color, and LGBT be exempt from criticism? He doesn't target them because they're women, etc. It's condescending to treat them like they can't stand up for themselves. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to reiterate some stuff I said before. Number one, why are all my followers and subscribers more well-spoken better, more well-spoken than I am? Number two, you guys are so polite and mild-mannered and nice. And then look how you get responded to. They shouldn't be exempt, but they definitely shouldn't be singled out and attacked. That's the difference. Okay. John just said they weren't being singled out and attacked. They can stand up for themselves and do, and others should speak up for them as well, because it's the right thing to do. When you see others unfairly singled out and attacked, how many times are you going to say singled out attack? These are not attacks. They are words on a screen. Remember pixels? Remember you wanted to say that pixel people were pixels? Well, you know what else are pixels? Actual pixels. Let me zoom in. Zoom in. Then. Okay. Well, this is a high definition screen, but they're still pixels. Um, <laughs> God, I love, I feel like this is, oh my gosh, I could just go on forever. Um, so then, oh, where's my cursor? I'm freaking out. I admit, I'm freaking out. I'm so excited. I'm very happy about the apartment. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so great. I think there's going to be an echo though, because it's a lot of like concrete and, and steel in there. Um, uh. Byron Wikely says, who are you to say that these communities need any help defending themselves? Are you trying to imply that these communities are too weak to defend themselves? One of the most hilarious things about SJWs is, <laughs> and I always get roasted for, com for commenting on physical aspects of people, but some things you can, you can help and some things you can't. And 
the idea that anyone, when they're in trouble, when they're in legitimate trouble, says, <laughs> I need the nearest short, fat, bald, white dude to help me out. Uh, nobody says that. They will actually ask, if if someone is in mortal danger and some guy who looks like Dan Slaughter or Mark Wade is walking by, they're like, hey, hey, I need help. I need you to go find someone. <laughs> they're not going to... They're. <laughs> You know Dan are, are, and Mark are going to do like the point at themselves, like, what, me? They're like, no, 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 no. But you can go find someone that can actually help me. Um, so Dan Slott responds, everyone should be defending them. The communities who are under attack and those who aren't. To believe otherwise is to believe that you should remain silent while those attacks are going on. They, they never talk like people. Why don't they just talk like people, dude? Keep it real. Okay, first of all, Every, I talk about people, not communities, except for I do talk about SJWs as a community. Why is everything they do, it's like they can't see people as people. I roast Daryleo and Kwanzer. They're both black. It's like, oh my God, the community. First of all, I'm not sure how proud the black community is of Daryl and Kwanzer, so they might be like, um, mm, I, I got somewhere to be, bro. Um, See the next one. Talking about Red Dwarf. I've never seen Red Dwarf. So this one, this one just slayed me. Because this is this one actually bothered me. Because the thing about these people, Dan Slot, Mark Wade, most of the is they like to use basically who everyone everyone who isn't a straight white man as a shield to defend their behavior. But then when one of those people speak up, they if they don't agree, they basically get Summar summarily dismissed. So Justine Carr, who oh I keep forgetting I'm on my alt account. <laughs> I was like, does this does this uh, some uh, person? Oh well, here's what's interesting. Um, Non-binary body positive activist who considers SJW as a badge of honor. Um, uh, once again, Dan, I am a trans woman of mixed race. Then she she explains how it's mixed race. Nothing diversity in comics. Uh, uh, DNC is racist or transphobe. I think they meant nothing I say. And I do not need a 50 year old cis white male to call me marginalized and speak for me. Nice to hear. I just saw a person on another thread post a long litany of DNC related posts. Okay, what is DNC related? Either I did it or I did it. <laughs> so, uh, goes D DNC related posts going after them for being a member of the LGBTQ community. This is all these communities. It feels like some. Weird board game like Risk. What community do you belong to? And then delete them because she didn't want them on her timeline. <laughs> so what you're saying is a person who you're not going to name in any way has a evidence against me or maybe someone I know. Uh, and they showed it and then <laughs> immediately deleted it. You're stupid. Uh, so then uh, someone says, uh, let's see what this originally comes from. Golden Ball says, you are a comic writer currently working on superhero comics. Leave the politics to politicians. I'm Okay, so I have to preface this. I know a lot of people hate video games. I'm not making up what he's saying. This thing that I'm going to say that sounds like some character from like a play in the 1800s is how a human being on Earth did, uh, expressed themselves 50, 51 minutes ago. So we're being told that, you know, basically, stay in your lane. I'm a human being who dislikes seeing fellow human beings. <laughs> this would sound unnatural coming out of the mouth of the Lone Ranger episode shot in 1952. Like, who says this? I gotta make it through. I'm strong. I'm a strong man. I can make it through this. I'm a human being who dislikes seeing human beings. God damn it. This is like that challenge where you, you're supposed to eat like three crackers and whistle. You can't make it through the scene. This is the new challenge. I am I am creating right here, right now. You remember the ice bucket challenge? You remember the eat three crackers and whistle challenge? This is the dance lot challenge. Try to say this out loud without laughing. And I realize he's being a little sarcastic at the end, but the first one, he's like, 
Okay, I'm gonna make it through. I'm gonna make it through. I'm, I can do this. I can do this. I'm a human being who dislikes seeing fellow human beings being wronged. And God, <laughs> God, ah, and God bless America. I also possess friends. <laughs> so, no, you go, girlfriend. By the way, I just failed the dance lot challenge. Um, let me scroll too far out. So uh, let's see what this treacly nonsense is. Um, so yeah, so the thing he did earlier about where he's like, uh, don't use customer. Um... Oh wait, am I am I confused? Oh no, it's the same. Um, so as RJ says, is there a website or Twitter account that explains Comic Gate as things are getting so toxic? I'm trying to figure out what is going on. Who threw the first stone? Are things being misunderstood? And by both or which sides are people being harassed? Apparently confused. What a great guy. He's like, can you? I'd like to know more about things. What a cool guy. Venom Gear. Uh, some people believe some comic book writers are choosing diversity over well written stories. Sales are going down and comic shops are going out of business. Comic skaters are criticizing these comics regardless of people's gender, race, sexuality. Anti comic skaters are trying to make it appear that they only take attack based on people's gender, race, sexuality and dismiss any real criticism. That way, which isn't true because they also criticize white males like Dan Slott, Mark Wade, Chip Zdarsky. Damn. That was pretty perfect. Um, and then uh, Dan Slott pipes in. Dan Slott didn't even seem to be, oh no, he was a response. So he's like, who oddly enough speak out against those attacks. What a coincidence. God. The criticism is fine. No one's arguing that ever. Critique away. The singling out of pros and attacking them because of their gender, race, sexuality, along with those who defend them, is not. So the guy just said, "Yeah, they don't, they don't do it. They don't, they don't attack people because their sexuality or gender, or race." Uh, then the anti-comic skaters said they do, and he's just like, "Yes, they need to stop." The thing that I never proved that they do, they need to stop. My girlfriend lives in Canada, and she took a picture of a screenshot. Then she broke the camera. And then she lost it. Unfortunately, we have no backups. <laughs> oh my God, he's doing the, the preface thing. Oh. So when he says everyone should be uh, defending him, this guy, uh, oh, Brian uh, Byron. That didn't answer the question. Who are you to say that these communities need any help defending themselves? Are you trying to imply that these communities are too weak to defend themselves? One more time for those in the back. Everyone should be defending them. The communities who are under attack and those who aren't. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I read, I read something twice. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, the more of the corny talk. Yeah, it's, I already saw this part. Oh. Oh, this is a bad one. This one's really tall. Oh, I'm making this faces that my ex used to make. Ah, she was really arte. I used to say arte, arte. It's, it's a Tagalog word. Like really overdone facial reactions to things. Okay, I am I am strong. Fun two wars. I can do this. I'm a human being, <laughs> and if I see someone singling out individuals from a community for harassment, good people I know are being wronged. <laughs> I'm cringing and laughing at the same time. I'm not going to shut up. Doesn't matter which community. I trust them to speak up for themselves, and I will let my voice. Jewish upbringing. That, I, just, I just read this all. And then... Oh my God. Then he gives this photo of a quote ah, by Martin Niemöller. First they came for the communists and I didn't speak out because I wasn't a communist. Then they came for the trade unionists and I didn't speak out because I wasn't a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews and I didn't speak out because I wasn't a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. <laughs> sure there are. The non-communists, 
non-trade unionist, non-Jews. This, this is a lot of people. They can speak for you. Um, <laughs> this is a level of corny. God, I, I got to stop using these scatological and, and, and like bathroom expressions. I, I'm just going to say, talking like this is a huge turnoff for women. I just got to say, oh, God, I need to. Ah, he does it again. Oh, he thinks he's on a roll. Oh. oh, one more time. He keeps saying this. Everyone should be defending him. Oh, now he. Oh, so I wasn't rereading things. He's literally just copying and pasting. That's so dismissive. You're just going to copy and paste your other answers? Um. So then this uh, Justine. Um says, uh, our concern is not people like DNC, but people that claim to be transsexual, even though they have no intention of having a gender swap. Still have girlfriends, make no effort other than wear a wig to be female, and get work because they are trans. Um, so uh, Dan Slot says, uh, your concern isn't someone like DC, who targets transgender creators in the comics community, holds them up to ridicule, misgenders them for laughs, calls them mentally ill for laughs, quote tweets them, to send his followers after them. That's not your concern. Okay, so let me break this down because I like doing videos. Um, uh, I th this word targeting is ridiculous. Oh, by the way, just just a weird uh, side note. Uh, when I was in the uh, the Marines, when we first went into um, Iraq, having optics, having a scope, is actually quite rare. Um, nowadays, everyone has a scope on like freaking everything. Um, so it was actually a big deal. So we all just use iron sights, you know, just the front sight post and the rear sight post and sight alignment and all that type of stuff. So uh, th they got a little bit of a budget and all of a sudden we got one DM, one designated marksman in every um, rifle squad. So they had the ACOG, Advanced Combat Optical Gun Sight, something like that. ACOG is pretty legit, I like it. Um, uh, the And it's got a little red dot on it and it's got good eye relief, you don't have to have your I read up on it but anyway so um we that we started using that guy because he was the only guy who had any kind of optics except for like a squad leader who had binos and he'd be like hey what's that go look at that and then he'd use his acog to look at something and fairly predictably some people thought they were going to be shot but he was just using his optic to look at something now that's the kind of targeting that wasn't shooting, but I can see it. Someone's go, oh my gosh. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, I'm just looking at you through my gun sight. I'm not trying to shoot you, even though I'm pointing my gun straight at you. Um, talking to someone isn't targeting. The only thing I really target is behavior and repeated behavior. You could turn on a dime and not be, quote, targeted. By the way, nothing happens. These are just letters on a screen or videos that you can choose not to watch. Um, holds them up to ridicule. I do, Rosa. I do. I roast cringy behavior, and I put myself up for roasting. I put jawbreakers up for free to be roasted. That's where I met Narkish. <laughs> That's a, this is a how I met your mod mother, YouTube, Comics Gate, uh, edition. Um, misgenders them for laughs. Ah, uh, no, no. Okay, first, mis I don't misgender them. They misgender themselves. If you're a man and you start saying I'm a woman, you've misgendered yourself. I actually, for a long while, I did actually do the politically correct, like, you're a guy and you're trans, you say call me a woman. I am. Then I saw a picture of, like, a fat, bald guy with a beard, and I go, I'm, I'm not calling that a woman. I don't care. I, I, I feel stupid, you know? You know, like, when you have a friend's dog and you pet it, it's like, hey, girl, hey, girl. And you're like, that's a boy. And you're like, you feel dumb. You're like, oh, my God. I, sh I should have looked at that dog's crotch before I said, hey, girl. I also have a thing where I always think all dogs are boys and all cats are girls. Um, calls them mentally ill for laughs. I don't call them mentally ill for laughs. I call that to make a point. Like, honestly, there's a lot of just seemingly... Also, mentally ill doesn't mean you're like schizophrenic and you're on a bell tower shooting people. It just means you have mentally illness. There's a lot of personality. There's a lot of uh, just weird obsessiveness. I mean, I get it myself for being OCD. That's a mental illness. But there's just not a lot of normal people. Like all, most of the normal people have either been A, scared out of being a pro, they've left for other uh, industries, 
or B, they've gotten really, really quiet because they know they're liable to be attacked by their fellow pros over anything. Sean Gordon Murphy had to uh, endure a pretty serious attack a couple days ago because they were saying, oh, DNC and a lot of people who uh, like him like your books. Why aren't you denouncing him and them, the customers? Okay, so I'm having fun with it. I love these videos. Okay, so, oh God. Um, so Andrew Shepard says, I wish I could speak to customers at my job the way you do at yours. Do the customers at your job openly attack and insult any of your fellow employees because of their race, gender, or sexual identity? I'm guessing no. I've worked food service, as they say. Let's see, where have I worked at? I've worked at two different McDonald's. I worked at a, what was it, a jack-in-the-box for like a, a week. Uh, I've worked at grocery stores, uh, some other places that aren't chains. I've done a lot of cashier and like, I mean, when I was like 18 and 19, you know, last year. Um, I, and uh, getting insulted is just a regular thing. They don't insult you over these things, but we're not insulting. They, they'll just complain in general and, and just be really rude. But that doesn't happen. So... <laughs> No, what is this fantasy? It doesn't happen. Oh my god, this one's gonna be okay. So, um, so Anka says, uh, no, no, it isn't. You should fight for what you believe to be right. Is that not what freed blacks from oppression, LGBTQ from fear, and will free women from inequality? To say such is to attempt to shame people for thinking differently. It makes you no different from those you claim to hate. Are you making the case that it's wrong to shame? A bigot, a racist, and or a misogynist? Is that the point you're trying to make? <laughs> oh my god, are you the woman who interviewed Jordan Peterson? So what you're saying is you love Hitler. You wish he would come back so you could join his new Fourth Reich. That's what you're saying. Okay, just putting out this. Uh, I've, I've, I've heard that Dan Slott uh, actually wants to join the Fourth Reich. I don't have any evidence. Oh no, I saw evidence, but then it got deleted. And I promised a person... Okay, obviously I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, so God, he's so bad. So then when he does like the uh, yeah. So Venom Gear says, totally agree, shouldn't ever attack anyone for their gender, race, sexuality, or anyone who who defends them for that matter. Good. I expect you to take the exact stance the next time it happens in any comic geek threads you're a part of, and in the comments of any comic geek videos that you watch. Um, <laughs> uh, so basically he just says, we'll do. By the way, you know what would be a freaking field day? Is if you guys, Dan Slott, Mark Wade, and all these people, would just start retweeting every single racist thing they see. Every single one. Every single bigot and transform. Just, and it's going to have to. Number one, most of them don't exist. Number two, uh, most of them are only bigophobic, bigot, whatever, in the idea that you're looking for things to be offended by. This, this evidence, I can't show you. Um, so, uh, oh gosh, I'm getting confused. So this Anka guy says, uh, the difference between attacking a black writer and attack a writer who happens to be black is what I'm questioning. Do you believe that a change in the race would erase all the hate? If someone repeatedly attacked a writer and repeatedly mocked their race, gender, sexual identity, that would not be what you're talking about. If what you were talking about was used as a rationalization as to why those kinds of mocking attacks were made, that would be bad, right? I feel like we just need to have a day where we all be like, hey, Dan, you got it. We're all Nazis. Yeah, we're all Nazis. We give like our addresses and our places of employment. We just do like these little Edwin Boyette little vines he does. It's like, you got it. We're all Nazis. We all have Hitler posters and, you know, like plot to attack trans people <coughs> but the twist is everyone who says this is like black mexican trans female and you're just like i would love to see like a medley of that like a little compilation just have like muslim everything they're like you're right we're all nazis by the way i'm getting really thirsty i want to just keep going i'm getting super thirsty uh so andrew shepherd what does he say so when he says, do the customers attack your job 
Oh, because of race. And, and then Andrew Shepard says, no, but they attacked him on their merit and the quality of work they produce. <laughs> Sorry, clap warning. <laughs> Sometimes claps just come out of you and you don't have time to warn people about them. Um, uh, Dan Slott has, to, he has, he has the same, but when, for him it's sharks. Um, what if they repeatedly attacked him because of their race, gender, and sexuality identity? And then winked and said it was because of merit. Wink. What if they did it with such regularity that there was clearly a pattern? What about then? <laughs> um, so Andrew Shepard uh, says, uh, I wasn't even talking about uh, DNC because nothing I could say would change your opinion of him. I was only talking about the way you respond to a customer's complaint. I don't think there is any other company on earth but Marvel who would tolerate rudeness to customers. Um... So then he points at a time he was uh, rude. Dan's like, he was telling me to shut up when I was speaking out and lending my voice for people who were being wronged because of their race, gender, sexual identity. Sorry, that's insulting. <laughs> Andrew Shepard says he was a customer telling you why he was dissatisfied with your work and was in no way antagonizing. Again, I want to point out, I know this video is long. Again, I want to point out, Look at one person who's talking like a person. Look at one person who's talking like a play that was written in 1889 on a steamboat. And just kind of guess, like, whose side do you want to be on? So then Justine says, uh, uh, You know my lived experiences in mixed race trans better than me. Not once have I heard him, and I have subbed for more than a year, condemn POC gays, women, or trans folk. He does aim a joke at mags. But that's like saying that because you just cream with me, you are transphobic. Are you? Damn. Um, then Dan Slot says, It sounds like I'm agreeing with you that he regularly aims, quote, jokes, unquote, at a person because of their sexual identity. No, 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 no. I roast the hell out of Max because Max got into an industry uh, for diversity, for affirmative action, for tokenism, for person. And then just get in and go, oh, sh I got by the gate. Let me try really hard to be the best writer I can be. No, Magsden doubled down on a daily basis with constant drama, constant accusations, constant haranguing and castigating of the fans. And just, uh, it's not funny anymore. 50 stores went out of business because there's a bunch of trash out there on the stands for a bunch of woke a-holes to like brag to their creepy frenemies. Um, someone I know. I have also witnessed him regularly aim jokes at people I know because of their race and their gender. I have no problem adding my voice to theirs. Why don't you just show screenshots? It would be very damning. It would be very damning to prove your points. I don't make fun of anyone because of their race. I don't make any fun of anyone because of their gender. How do you even do that? Hey, woman, nice uterus. Have fun living two years longer than me on average, stupid woman with your long hair. You're, you like to grow, you like to wear necklaces. <laughs> that would make someone, I know some, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, Rose. I'll give that a five out of 10. Um, so then, uh, oh, five more. Oh, there's always more gifts. I just got, can't, can't stop. Okay, so he just keeps saying this. He's just like, race, gender, sexuality, race, gender, sexuality. Okay, but I'm going on, going on. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, so then uh, Justine says, well, by using the same system that your side uses when someone criticizes someone of color or a trans or a woman, that makes you an ism or an ist, so you're an entitled white man disagreeing with me, a trans of color makes you a racist transphobe. How do you like them at Apple's hockey? <laughs> um, how is it using the same system? What's with the quotes? Just everyone, they are the quotes. For when I lend my voice, who says that? You sound like Moses. I let me lend me your, you my voice. For when I lend my voice to a friend who, even you admit, was being wronged because of their sexual identity, she never admitted that. By that logic, I could mislabel you as an anti-Semite for arguing with a, with a Jew. I won't, 
because that's reductio ad absurdum and unfair. <laughs> Is this no? This might turn... Can I turn a recorded video into a live stream? I wish I could. So now Dan's doing the thing that SJWs always do, where they always have to announce when like a conversation online ends and when it begins. You just... just you don't have to do that. Anyway, I can't argue this all night. I'm out. Oh, you got a, you got a hot date, Dan? <laughs> you don't have a hot date. Um, <laughs> when Dan Slap wants a hot date, he microwaves his pocket pussy. <laughs> Boom, gotcha. There, I just, uh, I just uh, uh, missed, what did I do? I just uh, roasted you on your gender. Um, virgin male and your race white male who never gets late um, but I'm glad you did agree with me <laughs> what is this transparent like uh, just he never agreed that I targeted anybody but he just started like saying it and now he's he, now he's doubled down he's like but I'm glad you did agree with me that DNC has been out of line with the way he's gone up to Max good night <laughs> who's the guy who gave this one like Chad <laughs> okay, chat. Oh my god, that's hilarious. God, I, I would pay for Twitter. If you had to pay for Twitter, I would pay for it. Oh, they always have to do this like, I'm so busy, I have to go, but I shall return to lend you my voice. Okay, so this is the last one. Looks like we do a little refresh action. Oh my god, I love Twitter so much. So then, um, what's he saying? <laughs> so just, just I gotta catch up to speed. So he's like, Dan Slap, are you making the case that it's wrong to shame a bigot, a racist, and or a misogynist? Is that the point you're trying to make? <laughs> I love how he responds because it's literally a normal person from 2018 talking to someone on a stage in <laughs> the 1800s. No, I'm trying to say that there is no difference between you and the other side. There may be racist, bigots, or misogynists on that side, but there is an overwhelmingly Large amount of normal people, too. The group should not be represented by the few bad ones. There are violent members of Black Lives Matter. There are violent people against homosexuality. There are violent Muslims. And there are violent people who seek equality. None of these groups should be defined by those members alone. I love this guy. Inca, who is he? Say Inca. No description. Final note, because I have a lot of work tonight. If you think there are members in your community that might be doing this wrong, those are the ones you should steer clear of. Everyone and on every side of this issue should heed that advice. Right? Okay. Good night. <laughs> Why do you say good night? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Toodaloo. <laughs> Oh my god. So, god, I, I thought this was going to be a short little video. We're in like 30 minutes. Anyway. Dan Slot. Cannot see people. Like, oh my god. So ridiculous. They're all so ridiculous. It would be funny if they weren't putting hundreds of people out of work and ruining the businesses that they invested tens of thousands of dollars over. Oh, and what's with this alien girl? Damn. Why is it square, though? It's kind of turn off. Um, Anyway, but I forgot the thesis. Oh, so here's the thesis. His whole thing was like, he targets women, people of color, and minorities and LGBTQ. Well, I just targeted, in quotes, uh, this white male. So what does that get you? It, it looks to me like I just throws people on their behavior, no matter who they are. But... Who am I? I'm just some guy. <laughs> just some guy has the best outro for his videos ever. I love that kid. By the way, that guy is a great artist. He posted some art with uh, Sociopath Robin and Nightwing. And, oh, it was great. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone given to the Super Chat. You're funding original content. If you have bought a comic, and I'm just about to do a video one. Because you know, Let's be honest. This is my side job. Um, if you buy a video because of me, just some guy, Doug Ernst, Cap Cummings, all of those people. If you buy a comic because of something we, we recommended, take a picture of it. Take a picture of all of them. Now we're getting sexy pictures. Now we're getting 
sexy. Uh, move the needle. <laughs> it might be moving the needle more more ways than one. Uh, take a picture, put it on Twitter, hashtag move the needle, and at the, the people and the company, at, you know, Dan Slot. I bought Amazing Spider-Man because diversity in comics. Uh, your fellow Nazi told me to buy it. Anyway, I just realized that this could uh, not just be the Spider-Man symbol, but it could just be a really fat guy wearing the Spider-Man. And mask. So anyway, uh, uh, thanks for watching. And my next one is going to be Black Panther: The Sound of Fury, which is really good. Thanks for watching. Bye.